Rolling. rolling. It is post time for the ninth. In behind the Newland Petroleum starting gate for the Atlantic Sire Stakes three year old Phillies. And let's go back upstairs to the call with Vance Cameron. Emily's Angel, Ma Rebel, unapologetically. Cheeky, Cherry, I'm a Miracle, How Max, Sabrina, Elm Grove, Nelly, Lady in Paradise on the grandstand side. It's the fourth division of the Atlantic Sire Stakes for three year old Philly Pacers. Post time. The rough and pacing, leaving out. It's unapologetically Ma Rebel towards the rail. How Max Sabrina drives up from the outside to be third. Oh, traffic was tight in the turn there. As they go to the eighth pole, and at the rail, Ford's is Emily's Angel. Cheeky Cherry's in fifth. And racing from six, I'm a miracle. Away seventh is Elm Grove Nelly and the driller. That's Lady in Paradise. The Phillies are scattered as they race the back stretch. Up front, it's unapologetically, and she is sliding along with the lead for Daryl McLean. How Max Sabrina right there in the two hole, and they opened it up to the tune of 28 and two. Well, back off the leaders, third is Ma Rebel, racing from fourth, Emily's Angel, Cheeky Cherry fifth. Now the inquiry sign is posted. The race under a judge's inquiry as they arrive at the midway point, unapologetically will get them there. Racing second, Hal Max Sabrina. Well, back third is Ma Rebel, Emily's Angel fourth, then in fifth, Cheeky Cherry. Six is I'm a Miracle, Elm Grove Nelly seventh, and Lady in Paradise is eighth, fifty. Seven and one was the opening half mile. They straighten up the back stretch and going to three quarters, led by unapologetically. How back Sabrina comes off her back, up on the outside to challenge. Emily's Angel is on to be third. Ma Rebel back to fourth, moving up fifth on the outside. That is Cheeky Cherry. They're by three quarters, unapologetically, and almost 15 to one, battling back. 127 and one was the three quarters and they're homeward bound now unapologetically how max sabrina cheeky cherry has paced emily's angel more confusion late cheeky cherry getting up late to win the sire stake for claire mcdonald tight for the new some grove nelly up against how max sabrina time of the mile in one 58 three Okay, so here's your slow-mo coming up in race number nine. There's a lot to sort out in the stretch here, and uh, the inquiry sign is posted on the infield tow port as well, so we'll have a look at that. But, uh, boy, try to sort this out. We talked about Cheeky Cherry and Claire McDonald here, sort of the sleeper, and gets up here in the stretch. Yeah, early on, unapologetically, for Daryl McLean, got front here tonight, 28-2, and 57-1. There was an inquiry early. David sat two until the back stretch made the move, really couldn't get by unapologetically, and then that sat up for the closers here, late Cheeky Cherry, and again, there's a bit of confusion in the lane here. Looks like she comes out of the pack to win this year. 127 and 1, 158 and 3 home here for Claire. Tight for second and third. We'll see, Lee. But again, there is an inquiry. We'll wait for the official result. Right now, the unofficial winner, Cheeky Cherry. Ladies and gentlemen, the inquiry, there's two of them here in the ninth race. Two judges' inquiries. The first judges' inquiry is the race going to the eighth pole. And the second judge's inquiry has to deal with the stretch drive. Two inquiries going to the eighth and during the stretch drive.
Well, there's another look at the uh, stretch drive for you tonight. Uh, two inquiries underway in this race, and we're just going to take you through here uh, as you get a look through the stretch here. Uh, Helmack, uh, Sabrina, briefly touching to the front here, and then you're going to see uh, Cheeky Cherry on the outside, the far outside with Kara McDonald and uh, Kenny Arsenal there in the middle as well. Uh, so a lot to sort out here in the stretch is the fan out going in the Atlantic Sire Stakes. We're under inquiry in the ninth. Looks like we're going to have a placing here in the ninth. Racing officials want to parade number six, Hal Max Sabrina. David, you can parade Hal Max Sabrina to the winner's circle. Parade Marshall will parade back a placed winner in regards to the ninth race inquiry. That's number six, Hamak Sabrina. Dowling picks up his fourth. He's going to the Woodmere Standard Bridge winner's circle. Hamak Sabrina, Bay Pacing Philly three by Malicious from the Articulator Dam. How Max Princess, owned by Brittany Watts and Windermere Farms of North Wilshire, trained by Mike Dowling. David Dowling has the quadruple tonight. There will be an adjustment to the time for the mile, but that's how Mac Sabrina and a David Dowling quad, this time in a division of the Atlantic Sire Stakes. Ladies and gentlemen, Township Chevrolet is proud to be a sponsor for this year's 51st Governor's Plate. Township Chevrolet takes pride in supporting its local community as well as its citizens. Be the first out of the gate. Visit Township Chevrolet, PEI's number one truck and automobile headquarters, where your experience is a sure thing. We wish the drivers and their teams the best of luck. Enjoy the race! This race replay on Channel 2 on your in-house monitor is brought to you by Syntrack Print and Graphic, Inc. Mention this ad and receive $20 off your first order of 500 or more full-color business cards. Syntrack, 59 Watts Avenue in the Business Park. 